If people are doubting how far you can go in life, go so far so they won't hear you. It is on just know that welcome you to another beautiful episode of Sports Updates here on Remo TV. I am Oluwak Pelumi. Just as you know us, we give you the best of sport news, we give you the best of sport reportage, we give you the best of sport interviews, and uh, we bring on the show wonderful sports personalities ranging from ex-internationals club and uh, international coaches and uh, local football professionals don't worry sit back and we have a whole lot for you to enjoy here on remo tv you may like and um, uh, to join us on all our social media platforms don't forget on twitter on facebook and on youtube at official remo tv that is the only place you can get the best of sports news and uh, reportage all right before we talk about the stories we have for you today remember there's something you need to do every day there's something you need to do every week there's something you need to put in your subconscious when you work stay fit enjoy the best of sports and never for one lag behind all right straight to the stories of today we have something for you coming from the world of formula one uh, you know, everybody knows Formula 1 is one of the hottest sporting activities in the world. And just about a few days ago, we had uh, the Formula 1 Turkish Grand Prix. The Turkish Grand Prix. It was awesome. It was wonderful. It was phenomenal. We had the best of Formula 1 racers ranging from Lewis Hamilton to Sergio Perez to Leclerc to a lot of wonderful racers. But you know, the lineup was not surprising because just uh, I, I, it got to a point I was thinking maybe I was becoming a sorcerer because my top five were the people who came up the top five so I was actually not so surprised on the list we had uh, Lewis Hamilton of Mercedes on top of the lead it was so wonderful it was so phenomenal he did what everybody expected and believed he could do so personally i wasn't too surprised i wasn't too surprised and uh you know during the race a lot of people a lot of sports analysts a lot of uh spectators believed that uh louis Hamilton would falter and not perform better than he used to do but the truth remains, Louis Hamilton would never change for who he is. He's just a man for the big stage, and the big stage would forever be his. Also, on the second position, we have Sergio Perez. Sergio Perez of Racing Point. Perez is a very wonderful racer. He handles the hair, he handles the steering like he was born with it. And I was not surprised seeing him on the second position. Sergio Perez would remain at the top for a very, very long time. And you just need to sit back to enjoy the best that comes from him. On the third position, we have Sebastian Vettel of Ferrari. Sebastian Vettel of Ferrari. You know, over the years, uh, Ferrari has been around some kind of controversies saying they really do not want to develop their engines. They really do not want to develop their gears. And they really do not want to bring in better riders. But you know, uh, Sebastian Vettel has been able to prove them wrong because he has been performing so wonderfully. And he doesn't do that alone. He has Leclerc by his side. On the fourth position was one... Uh, Comfortably seated Leclerc. You know, Leclerc is also a very wonderful racer. He's good. He's uh he understands the road, he understands the series, he understands the engine. And that is just why we keep seeing Ferrari on the top position. Now, the point of discussion is definitely not because Louis Hamilton came first, but it was because Sebastian Vettel and Leclerc 
came after each other simultaneously like Sebastian Vettel was on the third position while Leclerc was on the fourth position and they both raced for Ferrari. Don't you think this is uh, worth some kind of consideration? But the fact still remains, these people are wonderful and we still have a lot, a lot of their best to say. On the fifth position is Carlos Sainz Jr. of uh, McLaren. He hasn't been doing so badly, though people expect more from him. People want to see him perform better. But this is not really uh, bad. This is not a very, very bad performance. He definitely can do better, but we need to give him two ends because he's doing everything possible within his power to make sure he doesn't leave the top five. And that is what he has just done at the Turkish Grand Prix. He stays on the fifth position, and that is that from the world of Formula One. And surprisingly, we move straight to the world of Naomi Osaka. I really do not need to introduce you to this wonderful 23-year-old tennis player. She's very young. She's agile. She has the strength. She has the ability. She has the agility and she understands the game. But this time, I'm not bringing you news from the court of tennis. I'm bringing you news outside the tennis because this girl is doing so well. And you know, I would ask you a question that you can only respond to by dropping a comment at the comment box when you were 23 years of age what were you doing have you really achieved a lot but well I, I i i wouldn't i wouldn't like to speak for you but for me when i was 23 i think i was still trying to get my head around a lot of stuff and uh, that is just what life is all about but when we talk about naomi osaka she's a very very strong tennis player and now she has dropped a collection with nike Nike has come around to partner with Naomi Osaka and she has quite a whole lot of collection. The surprising thing about this collection is that it is not just about Naomi being a tennis player, but the collection brought out the cultural heritage of Naomi Osaka. We all understand she hails from Japan. Now, when you check the match, when you check the trainers, when you check the canvas, when you check the wheels, you would understand that everything came from the heritage of naomi osaka she's very good and nike looked at it that what way can we benefit from what this lady has done all right let us go back to our heritage let us bring one and two together to make something reasonable and that is what we are seeing today and surprisingly a few days after the collection were dropped it was sold out completely sold out a lot of people went to a dm and started saying uh we tried getting the orders we tried placing the others but we were not able to get and she told them that well apparently everything they've produced are sold out they need to pre pre-placed others and that is what people are done and that is just so wonderful that is so wonderful i am proud of naomi osaka right from the onset when she started the game she has been focused, she has been determined, and she has been consistent. You know, uh, John Cruyff used to say, for you to excel in any sporting activity, your consistency rate has to be top-notch. And that is what Naomi Osaka has showed everybody. For you to remain at the top, you need to remain consistent. And I really, really, really pray and uh, believe very soon, Naomi Osaka would become one of the best tennis players in the watch which arguably she's becoming she's walking towards the line of serena williams and venus and Hall. so very soon don't worry you will see more of serena williams away from uh, the story of naomi osaka still meddling in the tennis court uh yesterday we had the 2020 ATP Finals, 2020 ATP Finals, and surprisingly, Medvedev defeated Dominic Thiem. I repeat, Medvedev defeated Dominic Thiem. You know, these two, they were so, so, so surprising because they, they played against both Djokovic and Rafael Nadal. But uh, surprisingly, I was personally thinking Tim would defeat Medvedev, but because of the game, you really cannot predict what would come. With the outcome we saw yesterday, Medvedev defeated Dominic Tim, and even one of after the game, he, he came out with a statement and he said, uh, "This is the toughest victory in my career." 
I'm not the one saying this. This was confessed by Medved. He said this is the toughest victory of his life. That is, he never believed he was going to win the game. The whole thing came so surprising. And what can we say? This is just another milestone for Medvedev. And we feel, we believe, and we hope he can maintain the top flight because we can see the, uh, the likes of Rafael Nadal and Djokovic. They've been nice, they've been awesome, they've been phenomenal. So we hope Medvedev would not get carried away in the euphoria of winning the 2020 ATP, but would remain so strong on the court to get more achievements to his name and that is that from the world of tennis all right you know after a long week of international football there was a break apparently and most of these footballers they had to go to their country to play their um, international games and after two weeks we are back to our club football we are back to our club football and uh you know a lot of things happened during this weekend a lot of actions went down and a lot of disappointment came with it trust me uh, and the first thing that happened was atletico madrid defeating fc barcelona one go to new that is so shocking that is so disappointing as a lot of our fans has claimed and i really at this point i begin to doubt the credibility of ronald coleman as a coach of fc barcelona i really don't i've never been a coach I really don't know a lot about the job, but I feel this has never happened in the history of FC Barcelona. So this happening at the tenure of this man, I think they really need to review a lot of things about him. They definitely need to review a lot of things. Ronald Koeman has been doing well, well, maybe, but uh, Atletico Madrid defeating FC Barcelona is not a good news. It is not a good news. And you know, apparently I saw a lot of disappointing performance from the king himself. I mean, Lionel Mercy. He was not on top of his game. But really, what can we say? So I feel the board of FC Barcelona needs to sit together and look for a way forward. Another thing that happened in the world of club football aside the woes of FC Barcelona is... Uh, the inconsistency of Arsenal Football Club. You know, Arsenal has always been known for their tiki-taka style of football. But apparently, people have said uh, that I think they now play kati-kati style of football. I don't know. But maybe that is just what it is. Because we feel Arsenal Football Club are good at this game. They used to be one of the best. But now, I really don't know what is wrong with them. Could it be the players? Could it be the coach? Could it be the board? Could it be the fans? The question still remains unanswered and I hope very soon Arsenal Football Club would get their head back in shape and start giving us good performances. This is not encouraging and if they continue like this, I'm not so sure they would make it to European football. I'm not really sure about it. I'm not sure. So they really need to up their game. Also during the weekend, Manchester City, Tottenham Hotspur. It was a very tough game, so intense and uh, Tottenham Hotspur was able to carve the win with two goals to new and you know after the game uh jose Mourinho was asked just one question they said during the game manchester city had the ball on their foot more than your guys did and the response he gave was fine they can have the ball but i can have the point manchester city had the ball on their foot they had the possession but uh the Jose Mourinho guys they were able to cover the win well personally i don't think it is all about the win they need to give us good performances fine you can always come out with the win just as uh the issue of manchester united they won during the weekend but their win was so so controversial it was very very controversial so i would appreciate more of better performances from these guys rather than just ordinary wins we want to enjoy the days of entertaining football we want to go back to the days of having fun while watching games not just a day where we can say yeah they, they, they were able to cover the win that is not that is actually not encouraging enough also we had a uh, liverpool football club liverpool football club uh they were able to defeat leicester city despite the whole injury rampage and all they defeated leicester city three goes to new that is odd that is powerful and that is whooping now moving away from the gist that came from the weekend games don't forget that the Champions League would start this week. The Champions League is starting and it is going to be hot. It is going to be powerful. Uh, Rennes. We have Rennes. Rennes will be playing against Chelsea Football Club. Uh, Dynamo Kiev would be playing against FC Barcelona. I think this is another test for FC Barcelona to prove their worth. 
and to show what they are really made of. Also, Juventus will be playing against Ver 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 Karov. Juventus will be playing against Vereskarov and also PSD would be welcoming RB Leipzig. RB, it is going to be a very tough game. That is my star game for the day. And Manchester United will be playing against Istanbul Berserksha. Manchester United will be playing against Istanbul Berserksha. That is going to... These games are just so hot that I can't wait. And I believe so strongly that the better side would win. Before we go on this episode of Sport Updates, during the weeks, uh, you know, there was a very odd story on social media about a young man who staked uh, a game with his father's 100,000 Naira and apparently and unfortunately the game did not come as he predicted. So he came to the social media, he came to Twitter to start begging for people to help him raise money that his father mustn't know that he had staked with his money and all like that. One thing I would say is it is your wish it is your desire to stake if you want to but i would not advise this is what every punters would always say you should not stake with the money that is not yours or what you can't afford to lose so whenever you feel you want to stake just make sure you stake with what you can afford to lose because every of those games are not guaranteed and you need to stay safe at every time don't forget you need to drop comments for us on the comment section. Check us out at www.remotetv.com.ng and also our Twitter and at remote official remote TV. And uh, you know, apparently one thing that I understand is all you want for yourself is the best. So to get the best of reportage, visit this and those. And don't forget as you go into this week, stay fit and enjoy the best of sports. Bye for now.